So let's do a quick example, learn some basics with cat classification. So we're going to build a cat classifier and we have a little guide here. This is a pen and paper step. You can do most of this uh, step one thing with pen and paper. You don't need special expertise. You don't need to be a mathematician or a programmer. Anyone with common sense can do this. So what's thing one? Write down the outputs or labels for our cat classifier. May I have some suggestions from the audience? What should it output? Cat, not cat. Very nice. Couldn't have said it better myself. Fine, what's next? Consider mistakes. What mistakes can it make? Now, this is a very simple setting. So there's only two things that can be true. Cat, so you can see him in there, uh, or not cat. And over here, the machine learning system only has those options. So if there's a match, we call that a true something. If there's a mismatch, the system's being false with us. We have built the system to be very excited about cats. And so when it thinks it sees a cat, it goes positive, positive, I got you a cat. Which is why we'll call that a positive event and no cat, no negative event. Now, of course, sometimes it goes, I got you a cat, I got you a cat, and it's just seeing things. Mistakes are possible. So putting that together, we get the standard jargon in classification, the event names here. <laughs> 